The second chapter of this book is a history of Zionism, and mm. the chapter is called The Unnatural History of a Bad Idea. Mm. <laughs> Zionism is a really, really <laughs> bad idea, and we have to recognize that. It's, it's, it's made sanctified by all this propaganda. Right, we tremendous propaganda. Unbelievable propaganda. Uh -huh. And so this book itself is going to be blacked out. You're never going to see a review of this in, uh -huh. a, in a major publication. Uh -huh. you'll, you'll have to... You'll see it on public access television, That's right, ladies because and this gentlemen. is a Democrat... And Echelon, we want you to know this program's going out so you can get it in your database. <laughs> because this uh -huh. is a Democratic space. Yes, right. Okay? Mm -hmm. This space is not controlled by powerful lobbies. Right. Among which the most powerful APAC. perhaps is the APAC or the Zionist lobby. Do you think lobby. George Soros wrote that thing saying that should be questioned? Just Soros recently. is is one of the very few extremely wealthy Jews who is not Zionist, uh -huh. to his credit, mm -hmm. to his mm -hmm. great credit. Mm -hmm. And he's alarmed at mm -hmm. what's happening with the state of Israel. Is that the most powerful, NRA is more powerful, is APEC the most well, powerful lobby you, in Congress it, now, do you to think? Me, I it's think it's it is. me, it's the most powerful by yeah. far. Because not, not only the Congress, yeah. but also the whole society. It's the because most, it's put yeah. a pale. You yeah. cannot say anything, right. or you you got to be self-hating because you're Jewish. Yeah, right. I've got to be anti-Semitic. Well, or I you can know? be anti-Semitic too. Or you can be anti-Semitic too, yeah. accused Which of is, it. You know? I mean, yeah. I don't care what But it's call. a litany that comes out just right. so tripping right. off the tongue right. and right. it's there and everything yeah, like yeah. that. And something that is absolutely no-no. What I did in this book was simply say, listen, I understand all that. So I'm just going to say what I think is the okay, truth. Okay, good, yeah. And that's what, As I told you very clearly, I'm interested in religion, but I have no connection at this point to the Jewish religion, uh -huh. particularly to Orthodox Jewry. And yet there are Orthodox Jews uh -huh. who are really faithful to the Torah and so on, who, who have just as bad a view of, I of Israel and right, Zionism as I do. Torah Karta. Uh, yeah, and the Torah and the Satmar. Karta. Exactly. And they and argue people, strongly for that. And these Rabbi people, Dome is now these people, leader. you know, I would disagree with them on this, that, and the other thing, but we both recognize that this was a bad idea. Uh-huh. different and. In a way, for the same reason, although, because I, I feel it's a bad idea because it denies the universality of human beings right, and it installs right. a racist state, uh -huh. okay? They feel it's a bad idea because it, it, it violates the spiritual content of Judaism. The Zionist project uh -huh. required several things in order to be realized. One of them was the ethnic cleansing of the indigenous inhabitants of Palestine. Had to be. Had to be. I think I quite agree that Zionism is an aberration. It's a remnant of ethnocentric and ultimately racist feeling. Okay. Uh, it attempted to escape the persecution of the Jews. And the Jews were being trouble, in trouble in the late 19th century, no question. Uh, uh, but it only did so by creating persecution of other people mm -hmm. and and the like. And and it uh, uh, it is very bad for the Jewish people, in my view. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I can I argue you can say if anti-Semitism is the reduction of a people to an essence, they, they are this way. This is the only one way for them to be. Uh -huh. You know, then anti then Zionism is anti-Semitic yeah. because uh it says the Jews. The only thing the Jews that can, can do is to have this state in the strong state in uh -huh. the Eastern Mediterranean. They yeah. don't need that. And it, it, well, I don't think that overcoming Zionism is sufficient for building a better world. Uh -huh. I certainly think it's necessary. Overcoming it. Yeah, overcoming it means getting beyond it. Basically, you have logically you can have the status quo mm. or something beyond the status quo. The status quo is a horror. Indeed. It, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's degrading everybody and annihilating the, the Palestinian people. Uh, annihilating them. That wall. Yeah. The wall, whatever. Well, they're, the they're, whole they're, thing. They're, the whole ball of wax. Taking the whole thing yeah. and making yeah. it into a, a concentration camp. Uh -huh. uh, and, uh, and making war on it. You're going to see war again. The invasion of Gaza. Them, they just bombed uh, it's, it's unbelievable. Gaza again But today. that's the internal yeah. logic uh -huh. of Zionism. Right. It right. Has to, and the book spells it out. Uh -huh. Uh, you want to go beyond that. Mm -hmm. So, compressing a little bit, you have, well, let's give each person their own state. Mm -hmm. Israeli state. That's a two-state uh, solution. Two yeah. Several things wrong with that. You got an imbalance it's, of power for It's one. impossible right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. If you if you suddenly withdrew <coughs> the Israelis, except, you know, and just accept, you know, you're not going to disappear, they'll surround it. There's no way the Palestinians can have a state on what Israel is. Israel has destroyed the no. conditions. No. Thanks to, thank you, Zionists. A little you banter have, you have, you have, Well, no, it's well, not, not yet. Uh, that, that's the point. That's why I say it's okay. worse 
than apartheid. They're part worse than apartheid. Yeah. That if you get a two-state solution that's yeah. even a decent one, where you take down the wall, remove those settlements, yeah. which are totally illegal, yeah. the whole world has uh, known that, you uh, take out the checkpoints and so on and so forth, uh, then, and then you get to the point where you have raised Israeli state racism to the level of a South African state racism. Oh, oh I see, see, I see, see, I see. The two-state mm. solution is either totally impossible or a Bantustan, uh -huh. which in my view is unacceptable because uh. we, 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 it was wrong back in, when South Africa did it, and uh. it still should be wrong. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <coughs> the only possible solution that is just okay. justice in this mm. world mm. is to have a single democratic state, mm. not a binational state where you have the two nationality, but a state that is for all the people, all of its citizens. On okay. the West Bank and no, the Israel whole thing, proper and The whole right. thing. Okay. Now, that is an idea that would, if you poll the people in Israel right now, would get maybe 1% of the vote. Okay. So people say, well, this is totally unrealistic. Um, because it wouldn't be a Jewish state for one That's state. right. It wouldn't be a Jewish state. Uh -huh. But my point also, is... Also, the return for Palestinians yes. around the world and so forth. And it had, it's predicated on the Palestinian yeah. uh, right of return. So there goes the idea of a Jewish state. And then That's that right. will... Anti-Semitism will raise his head not because anti-Semitism is built into the DNA of everybody except Jews in the world. No. In the minds of a lot of people. Well, that's a, yeah, but that's, uh. that's, a, that's a myth. That's a fact. Yeah, but it's one that's an active myth. It's an active myth, oh. but it's not the case. But anyway, go ahead. I'm it's sorry. Not the case. No, no, you, oh. you're quite correct. Mm. In that. So, what the one state solution is, mm. is a goal. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a logical a vision, goal. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's like a, it's something you set your compass for. You uh -huh. say, you will not be satisfied until this happens and then we're going to move towards that goal. Right, and let now, that one state be a just state. And, and, and let it become part of the thinking of the world. Because right. One reason that, that nobody votes for it is because they're not even allowed to think about it. Right. Right. I want uh, people to think about it. Uh -huh. Read this book, you'll start thinking about it. The uh -huh. more people uh -huh. think about right. it, the more they will start moving towards it because mm. it's the only thing that's humanly worthwhile. Uh -huh. Okay. It, and you're going to be able to create a, a single state that the single state yeah. would be characterized, characterized by a just system for yeah. all the people involved in that state? Yes, of course. If you take that goal and accept it and that logic, then what happens is that you start weakening the pull of Zionism. Mm -hmm. You start saying, well, what do we need this Zionism for? Because Zionism is just an idea, a very well, bad idea. It can be, it can be overcome, which uh -huh. is to say replaced by a better idea, uh -huh. a more universal idea. Uh -huh. and, the more, and it can happen fairly rapidly. And that's an analogy that can apply to the whole world, perhaps. Yes, yes. Beyond of all course, the, the of pitfalls of a class-based uh, system of nation-states that some power over yes, it's others. It's nothing but postulating universal human rights. Oh, uh, universal human that's rights. And, all and that, might be the, uh, that might be the challenge, not yeah. only for Israel, Palestine, yeah. but for the whole damn well, planet. It always has been. Basically, it's a question of human rights and universality against tribalism and ethnocentricity. Right. And you can, I can turn to the, the audience and say, isn't it time for us to outgrow I think it is, don't you? I think it's well, time. It, and it's just Outgrowing, overcoming, same kind of thing.